me again. Now we've had another school shooting here in uh, Florida. This one's down in South Florida. And uh, it's tragic. And what's even worse about it is people cannot take responsibility. I've carried a gun most all my adult life. Uh, either as a private citizen or working in law enforcement. Uh, right here on the table, this is my Glock 30. This is a compact 45. This is the gun I'm carrying today. It's the one I'm getting in some trigger time with down here at the camp on the range. Carries 10 rounds in the magazine. 45, automatic. That's the bullet. Yes, I know that's a big bullet. I've carried different brands, different calibers, pistols throughout my life. Revolvers, I've carried semi-automatics, I've carried polymer guns, I've carried 1911s. Uh, I've carried Derringers. I have yet to have a gun that has done any more or any less than what I've intended for it to do. And what I mean by that is this 45 caliber pistol sitting on the bench is not going to hurt anybody because I have not picked it up when it's in a loaded state, pointed it at something and pulled the trigger. You know, we look at our school shootings and our church shootings. A lot of these people that uh, commit these types of crimes are looking for a soft target. They're looking for a target where they can do the maximum amount of damage. And they don't consider the consequences. In a lot of these cases, you know, the shooters have already written off their own lives. They know they're not going to walk away from it. They don't intend to. They either intend to die at law enforcement's hands or they intend to commit suicide. <sighs> Quit being an easy victim. Quit being a soft target. <sighs> have some damn sand in about you. You know, have a little bit of damn guts. Okay, I know we cannot carry a gun legally in a public school unless you're a law enforcement officer. And most districts have done their best to maintain resource officers at their schools. You know, even if I'm not armed, and I know I'm fixing to go out. I'd at least rather go out with on my damn feet facing an adversary rather than getting shot in the back of the head. That's just the way it is. Okay. If you got to go, at least go out like a man. Oh. Like I said, I'm not wanting anything bad to happen to anybody, but this is the reality, okay? Years of working in law enforcement and the prison system have taught me some things. There are predators in this world, and they have no conscience, and they have no second thoughts about hurting innocent people. 
good karma. I hate to tell you that. That's a fallacy. Okay? It's not going to protect you when you deal with one of these violent individuals. There may be more than one. Okay? Do what you have to do in the fight. Okay? Like I said, even if I'm unarmed, I'd at least rather go down and make sure the bullet holes go through the right side of me rather than going through my back. But most likely, I'm not going to be in a position where I cannot be armed. Uh, I generally don't go to places that forbids me from carrying a firearm. The second thing is, even if I'm forbidden to carry a firearm and from time to time I've even gone into places and been in places where I was even forbidden from carrying my common pocket knife I have yet to be in a place where you can't carry first aid equipment something like a small blowout kit tourniquet stuff for a pressure bandage gauze you can put that in the pocket of your cargo shorts. And it may not be an active shooter you have going on. It may be a car accident. It may be any type of an industrial accident. Hey, our leading one of our leading causes of death in those type of things is blood loss. So being able to stop bleeding or slow bleeding, well, that's a good thing. I've recommended to a lot of people, if you don't do anything else, Take a first aid class, a real first aid class. Learn CPR, you know, learn how to control massive bleeding. Use your head, avoid going to stupid places with stupid people and doing stupid things. You know, this is the reality in the world we live in. You know, bad things happen to good people. Some people don't want to acknowledge that. Okay, I prefer that bad things not happen to good people. When they are, I prefer to be able to do something about it. I get it. Not everybody wants to carry a gun every day. Some people simply aren't going to do that. Be it they're forbidden by their workplace, forbidden by places they go, whatever. But nobody's saying you can't carry a first aid kit. Nobody's saying you can't have one in your desk drawer at work. Nobody's saying you can't have one in your vehicle. And a lot of that's going to depend on, you know, what type of lifestyle you live, what kind of work you do, where you're at. And I know a lot of guys that, you know, work construction, they'll keep, you know, small first aid kit in their toolbox, in the gang box, where they can get to it. Uh, you know... Being able to deal with a crisis throughout its aftermath is a big advantage other than just being a victim of circumstances. So I'm going to get in a little more trigger time today and enjoy shooting this 45. See if I can improve my skills a little bit. Later on, 